I've spent the last two days fixing two of my vehicles. I changed upper ball joints, I changed lower ball joints, I changed upper A arms, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I spent in the garage two days on my hands and knees changing all this stuff. I made a couple videos. I didn't do that good, but I made a couple videos, and now I'm just tired of working on vehicles. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch gears, and we're going to go put a deck on my trailer. I got to run to Lowe's, pick up a couple of boards, about 10 of them or so, 16 feet long. We're going to get those, bring those back in, cut them to size, and install them on my trailer so we can get this deck done and get one step closer to getting this trailer out of here for good. seen them they were on a trailer and what I did was I saved a little bit of money by going to Lowe's and buying some 2 by 6 by 16 just regular boards instead of getting the pressure treated. The ones I bought cost about $14 and some change and the one the pressure treated ones was running $21 and some change so I saved about six bucks per board I got 10 boards about 60 bucks I saved. So what's going to happen is these boards are going to rot out if I don't put some kind of finish on them and just put them on the deck like that. So what I'm going to do is I got some used motor oil, I got some diesel fuel, I mix it together about 50-50 and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on the boards as an oil finish and that should keep them from rotting out. Actually that should keep them lasting a long time. So anyways, I brought the boards off the deck because it's getting rid of the storm outside. I got them in my garage. I got my mixture sitting on the floor. I got a roller. Good cheap rollers from Dollar General. And we're getting ready to do this. I got the first board done. I'll show you that in a second. We're going to set the second board up here and we're going to get it done. We're going to get all 10 boards done. And then we can go ahead and get these things installed on my trailer.
quick here. My battery on my battery gun died. What I'm doing is I'm putting on uh, carriage bolts on my trailer. We're putting the boards on it. So we out there drilling holes, knocking these things in, then putting uh, flat washers, lock washers, and nuts on it, and then taking a ratchet and cranking them down. I got like half the trailer done, and my battery died. So let the battery charge up a little bit. I'm not going to show me doing this because it is tedious. Like I said, I went out there for probably an hour and a half maybe, and it's probably going to take another hour or so um, just to get all these board, boards um, bolted down. But when I get done, we'll come back, show you the finished product. It ended up taking me about two hours and a rain delay. It started raining in the middle of it, but I finally got all the boards on my trailer, bolted down, and this part of the project is done. So let's go check that out. We're going to go handheld, so I'm going to try to keep it as steady as possible, but this is the finished product. That board right there, the center one, was the last one I put on. I had to cut that one to length. I had to cut about um, maybe an eighth of an inch off of it. That's how far I missed it by, and the rest of them fit in there pretty good. So if we look here, you can see the bolts, carriage bolts, and I put eight bolts per board, so I got a set there. I got a set in the middle. I set towards the front. I set towards the front right there and then I set across the front right there. And I do need to sweep it off. It's got some sawdust on from where I was cutting that last board at. But that is pretty much it. This is pretty much done except for building the gate ramp. I gotta build a gate ramp yet for it. That is going to do it for this video. If you like videos like this, please click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video, which is every Monday and every Thursday. Like this video. Share this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in another video.